Well, Election Day 2019 has just wrapped up, but there's already a new group of potential candidates eyeing elective office. News Channel 9's Jeff Kulikowski says they've been underrepresented for several years now. There was a time Congress was filled with lawmakers who were also veterans, but since a peak in the early 70s, that number has dwindled. I never really thought about uh, running for office before, but I was interested. Marcy Davis, a Navy vet living in the San Diego area, is listening to some current and former lawmakers from the Syracuse area. It's part of SU's first ever program to prepare vets to run for public office. It's a group of folks who are really right at starting to dip their toes in the water, um, have identified maybe a seat or a race that they might be interested in locally, uh, and are just trying to pull it all together. You know, no one really tells you how to run a campaign, where to start, um, and how that affects your family. I think everything that I have done post-military is attributed to my military experience. In just the past two years, the Army vet has risen from planning commission, council, and is about to be mayor of the city of Maynard, Texas. What I've been kind of missing from the military, I'm able to now re, re, reinvigorate that. I'm now able to reconnect to that through politics. To give you an idea of how popular this idea was for this program in its very first year, 600 vets from around the country expressed interest. 160 applied, and then they narrowed that down to the 22 in the class. Winning is the ultimate, but we want to see these, uh, these participants go off and, and be more engaged in, in civic life in general. So to, for that, that for us is, is success. I feel hopeful, you know, like they could do it, maybe I could do it. And this may be the launching pad. Jeff Kulikowski, News Channel 9. Now, the week-long program is a collaboration between SU's Institute for Veterans and Military Families and its equally highly regarded Maxwell School of Citizenship and Public Affairs.